Yes. <clears throat> All right, let's see what happens. All right, folks. We're getting ourselves logged into the old oh, Facebook here. here. Uh, I see, up. yeah, I see uh, something uh, has uh, happened uh, there. Uh, 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 uh. Something is spinning. Do I have to push oh, yeah. that? Yeah. Let's say we're live. Right, there we go. It looks are like we there? we're live. Yes, we are live. <laughs> Holy Toledo, ladies and gentlemen. Smack and Jack rides again. All right, I'm still waiting for all my gear to kick in. Uh, <laughs> I heard something there. How about on my, uh, <laughs> we'll get there. No, I'm, we'll I'm, get there. It's on my phone. Right, so there we go. Are we there? Yeah, there oh, we go. Yeah. There we go. Now all right. Why are we frozen up over here? So there we go. Yes, we are live. We to, uh, mute that. Yay. All right. Still don't have anything here yet. Linda's on. Hello, Linda. Hey, Joel's on. How's it going, Joel? All right. I'm there. All Joel's right. Let's watching see this here. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're there, just about there, folks. It's going to be a great show. It's, Stick yes. with us. It's Stick going to be so us. good. Don't go away. Uh, that we don't even know we're on yet. That's how good it is. That's right. Okay, I see us on the pad here. Let's see if I tell me if you have a little volume out there, folks. Yeah, do you, can you hear us, Linda? Let us know if you can hear us, and we'll get the show on the road. I think we're doing pretty good. We're going to get started. Hey, Joel, guess what time it is? Guess what time it is? Uh, oh, you're asking me. Sorry. This isn't ours, though. This, this is what you're watching. This isn't the live. Huh? Yeah, no. Here we go. Oh, okay. All right, that's better. Now that, I can. Our, right. uh, our volume's not as, as uh, loud as normal. Yeah. All right, we got volume there. So we're good. Yeah, I think I can hear we're it. We're good. Yeah. I can hear it. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. Thanks, All right, Linda. let's All get right. going. Yes, folks. yes. Good morning. Uh, it's Smack Jack time once again. What Lovely. time is it? What time, oh, what time? oh, I what forgot. Time it's it? time for the Smack and Jack show. Well, live. Hanging. Smack and Jack live from Southern Chester County on this beautiful Saturday morning. It is very windy. Let me. Uh, hey. Windier than it was when I the told Lynn it was. Second so. incredibly windy Saturday in a row. Uh, Last yes. week was like. Whoosh. At least it's not snowing, but yeah, anyway. Right, so uh, right. we'll grab your coffee. We got a bunch of stuff. We're gonna do our announcements. We got uh, let you know what went wrong last week. We got some of the four uh, percent the web page thing. Yep. Jokes of the day. We're gonna do a veterans facts because it's Veterans Day tomorrow. Yep. And yep. then our ever popular birthday minutes. So grab your coffee, uh, sit back, relax. We're gonna have a great show. We'll see you in a second. And here we go. This is the closest to hip hop that I listen to. I love it. I, I just love it. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, once again. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yes. I don't know where uh, that came from, but, no, somehow, but it's, yeah, somehow really I was able out. to. Thank goodness for out, what yeah. is it, Garage Band, or what did you do that yeah, for? Me? Garage yeah. Band, iMovie. Yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, right. you know, I, you know, I played all that in the. Oh uh, yes, right. Yeah. 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 Played yeah. all that, yeah. and you sang it all. Yeah. Yes. It's, so you actually do a lot more than Britney Spears. Oh, let's I come to think of it, yeah. Uh, let's hope she doesn't find out you're going to get your <laughs> tires slashed or something <laughs> like right. that. Uh, well, it's it's Veterans Day tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. So it's uh, we're going to talk about veterans yeah, today and, little, and everybody uh, that you know. If, if you know a vet, give them a hug, hat. drive him a uh, buy him a beer or whatever. I want to send a shout out to our Uncle Dave. Uh, uncle Dave's our youngest uncle. And uh, he's yeah. been under the weather a little bit lately, so, uh, and I know Gene watches the show, Gene and Dave watch the show, uh, so if you're watching today, Dave, uh, we got your, we're thinking about you here on the East Coast, so get well soon. Yep. Hang and, in there. Uh, yes, hang, hang in there. Hang in there, so, Uncle Dave. Yep, yep. Uh, your youngest uncle, Pop's youngest brother. Yep, yep. And, and uh, uh, yeah, so we're yep, really so. thinking about you and praying for you, so. Yes. All right. All right. What All we right, got going moving on? Joel. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna have a little salute to the veterans today. Okay. Yep. yep. Go over some veteran facts and so forth, and then uh, let's see. Today we're happening right couple, now. Couple things going on. Yeah, right? locally today, a Christchurch in Media uh, is the Christchurch where you 
where where I go to church, yeah. where I'm and the organist and choir uh, director. Choir director, that's what I was trying up. to think. Yes, yes. Um, is the the Christmas Starfest Bazaar. Wow, already. Well, yeah. I guess we're getting getting into that season. Yeah, well, it's one we? of those things where um, you, you have to do it early because there's so much going on between now and, yeah, and right, Christmas. Right. You know, so you have, to, you have to get those things in starting around now. So uh, there's, uh, what do we have? There's, there's books, there's crafts, jewelry. There's a silent auction that I was looking at, looking for What's all the stuff. Uh, auction. Auction. Okay. Uh, uh, auction. Auction. <laughs> Um, and I was looking through uh, a lot of what they are offering there in the silent auction, and, and lots of good stuff there. A lot of good restaurant gift cards and oh, so nice. forth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I typically get one there um, that's a $50 gift card, and I, you know, I bid whatever is going, and yeah. sometimes I get it for less than $50. Yeah. So uh, it, that works out well. So let me show you that post there. Um, and there it is. There's a Christ Church, and there's our post. Um, starting from to, uh, this morning at 9 to 3, and that's in Media, Pennsylvania, 311 South Orange Street. If you're in the area, okay. um, stop on by. Let me ask you a question. Go back to that picture. We'll just slide it back uh -huh. a little bit. Yeah. You, what architecture styling is that? Um, I think that's called Gothic. I was going to say Gothic and because yeah. it's not as typical... A lot of the uh, Episcopal churches in the area are more English-looking, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And I don't know what that style is either, but ours is not, and I've always wondered what style it is. And it's about 100 years old, isn't it? 1864. Yeah. 1850. Yeah. 1864. Um, now, there are some additions, like the bell tower. That is not original. Okay. So 18, I, I believe it's 1864. So right in that okay. time frame is where they start building the church. Um, and of course, over the years, there are some. So maybe that's what them. makes it look different. If you can just picture the old church by yeah, itself without the bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, okay. Yeah, very nice. Good question. It's good very question. nice uh, structure. So yeah, it's, a, it's a beautiful building. Yeah, yes. Um, inside, outside, the people. Yes. Most importantly. Okay, and then next week um, is the uh, Pancrest Marching Band uh, Craft Fair at Pancrest. Oh, nice. Right, so okay. I'm just going to throw this in here too. So that'll be next week, uh, if you can see all that. And we know somebody show. that's in the band. We do uh, know somebody in the marching band. my niece, yep. uh, Sophia. Yep. She Trumpeteer. goes by that name. Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so this will be their 23rd annual holiday okay. uh, craft fair. So if you're in the area next week, uh, from 10 to 4 is the craft fair. Okay. Okay. So that's what's going on next week. All right. Kind of funny. It took them a couple of years to uh, get back on their feet after I was in the marching band. They said... Man, we got to do something to bring this back online. Yeah, they're like, whoa, so, yeah. man. man that but they got, you know, they got through it, and you know, they're back, back on track. So, all righty, what else is going on there? Okay, Joel? so um, last week you probably noticed that our show ended kind of abruptly. A little abruptly. I was going to say something about the election, and I, here I am talking, and blah 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 blah, and <laughs> We're nothing's not going on at all. all. So what happened was. Um, after right after now it depends on what video you're looking at because the the video that I loaded up to YouTube cut off right kind of right in the middle of the birthday minute okay the video that we watched on Facebook it, it actually got all the way to the end of the birthday minute right and then shut off so it's very strange I have no idea how that happened um, but anyway so what happened once the birthday minute was over I I clicked to close out the calendar and that click froze the computer and then the computer just shut down completely yes. completely shut, shut down off, on yes. us um and yeah we were kind of talking <laughs> to the wall which we do a lot <laughs> right but we do a lot but we don't need any more help from the computer right shutting yes, off right. the we, computer had enough of us <laughs> we can do uh yeah. we can bury ourselves on, uh, ourselves easily enough without That's helping the computer <laughs> but so anyway can, so fingers yeah. crossed we'll be all right and now so, so thanks to Miltzini right. at Christ Church, he said, make sure you restart the computer. And this is for everybody. Make sure you restart your computer frequently, almost every single day. Shut it down, start it up. And that clears out a lot of stuff that okay. just kind of hangs out. He says there's just stuff that hangs out um, that, you, that you can clean up when you restart it. Okay. So every show uh, before... Before I get here, I'll shut it off and then restart it once I get here. And so. that's funny. Back when we first got a computer for the shop here, 
we would shut it down every day because there wasn't an internet and it, you know you didn't want the thing running you know and exactly all that kind of yeah. stuff yeah and mm-hmm. I rarely you know I'll close my laptop but yep. I rarely restart it you know unless exactly. I get an update or something like yeah. that and yeah it's a good I'm, idea so I am very guilty of that just yeah. closing it up thinking that that's all you need to do yep. and uh, but it's, so yeah so shut it down restart your computer frequently. Okay. Frequently, okay? So, so when we have a problem today, it's not going to be for that reason. That's right. <laughs> we'll mark that one off the box. Right. We have so many checks. That we've <laughs> yeah, gone through right. so many different check marks of uh, what goes wrong. But, you know, show. it wouldn't be exciting and it wouldn't be Smack and Jack if there wasn't a That's right. little hiccup well, now and then. It so. wouldn't be Smack and Jack. I don't know about the funny part. But yeah, uh, well, we'll work anyway. on the All right, part. so we went through all the announcements. Well, our announcements are actually longer than yes. the, the rest of the well, show. Well, you know, the announcements are fun. Uh, we still have our stickers. Another announcement. Oh, oh yeah. Sticker, oh, oh, oh. magnet, and what else do yeah, we have? let's see. Boy, what else, what do, else we do we have here, Keith? We have pens. Hey, look at that. Lots and lots we of have them. So these things are going to start. Uh, yeah. You're going to start finding these things all over the place. All over. You're going to walk into your local bank and you're going to pick up a smacking jack. Yeah, because yeah, I'm going to leave a couple Because somebody might leave them there by yeah. accident. Whoops. Yeah, it just happens. So you'll see them around. We can give you a couple. If we see you in person, yeah. if you want them, we'll send them to you. But these things are free pretty much. It costs you $2 to send them to you. So Yeah, so uh, I will always yeah. have a bunch of these on with me. Yes. So if you see me. Ask for a few I, I will too. I'll put him in the put him in the new uh, mascot. And, so and just to be clear, watch. Let's see. Can you see this? <laughs> they do. Oh, yeah. uh, they come do on, right. Come on. Right. Yeah, it's hard they to do, do that right. backwards. They do right. There we go. Mm. See that scribble? Very <laughs> good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Hey, something worked. Something worked out. All right. All right. We got these pens in like less than a. Two weeks too. It's a lot quicker than we got our shirts and hats <laughs> and all that other our stuff. Our shirts and hats did, did yeah. like six months. Okay, <laughs> so let's move on. All right, all right. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our web page and how we set up the uh, the 404 error page. Um, what is a? I've uh, seen error pages, but what okay. is a 404? So an error 404. Um, it, it's really technical, and I honestly I don't completely understand it myself. But let's just say that you've typed in an address. Um, and it takes you to a page that doesn't exist or there's something wrong with the page. Um, and you come up with this generic error 404 page. Okay. Um, this page cannot be found. Um, so that happens. The problem is if you don't set up your error 404 page correctly, Google and the other search engines might index that particular page as an actual page that it will take people to. Okay. okay? And you don't want people to be directed to a 404 page if they don't need to be mm-hmm. okay so that's basically the premise so if you set it up correctly it lets the search engines know that that's not an actual page to be indexed um, and then secondly it lets your um, visitor on your page know that it is an error and that they can either leave you a message that the page is not working correctly or uh, they can click on one of your other pages that's there okay to get you back to so, yeah so let okay. me show you I'll try to be as quick as I can here about showing you um, how I set up the 404 page. So if we go into the back office of, um, uh, well, there's our 404 page. Notice it says, we're very sorry about, but this page is missing. Probably Keith's fault. <laughs> Probably. Let us know about it here. And when we go down here, um, that gives the visitor the, the, the opportunity to put their name and email and then let us know that it's not working. Okay. okay. And I actually tested this out here and it does work. The email comes right to me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then they can go up here and just go back to one of our other pages. Um, to brings you back. Brings to us back to, okay. exactly, back right. to the, now if you don't set it up properly, it's just a generic 404 error page and you can do nothing with it. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't go okay. anywhere. Yeah, so th- you would get this here if, if they type in smackandjack.com and then you know maybe miss a character or something it okay. might take you to this okay. or uh, if there's something wrong with one of our pages it would take you here okay um, and then the visitor can let us know okay. now how did how did we get here let me show you real quick it's another plugin so I go down the plugins um, installed plugins and I scroll to oh there it is right there 404 uh, page plugin what's it called yeah, it's, it's this one right here. I, I forget what the uh, exact name of it is. You just go into settings, and again, I followed what Nigel Yates told me to do. Okay. Okay, through the E-Stage Academy, 
out of the 4% group. I just did everything he told me to do. I clicked all the boxes, go through, um, and set it up exactly the way he told me to set it up, and, okay. and we're done. Okay. okay. So this is something that'll be finished, and we won't need to worry about it again. Now, the one thing I do want to do is, um, is change the, uh, let's go here, is change the picture because that's a generic picture right, right. there that, that I got I found on one of the websites for okay. free download. So mm -hmm. our picture is gonna have you and me in it and uh, you looking like you're a guilty person. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> right, because it is your fault it's that there is an error. my normal, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm yes, gonna look guilty. Yes. It'll be okay. your fault that okay. uh, we have an error there. So, right. okay. okay, so okay. That's, that's all I wanted to show you. Again, if you wanna know more about the 4% in the eStage Academy that will help you go all through that critical information for a website to function properly, uh, just let me know. I can send you those links uh, and you too can set up your web page so it works properly. Okay. 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 Some of the, you know, the back office stuff is not so exciting. And I got to tell you, you're doing a heck of a lot of work on this. And over the years, I've had some very generic websites for my, for Somerset yeah. Studios. Uh -huh. Yeah. And they're at the very least are 50 bucks a month just to have mm. somebody else do what you're doing that isn't anywhere near as uh, elaborate. Right. You know, I would just have a stock page and if I needed to change something, I had to go call them and they'd have to, you know, and, right. and for what I was paying, I couldn't always do what I wanted yeah. to do. So yeah, it's, it's, well, that's, uh, that's one of the things about this particular e-stage and the e-stage Academy that, you know, yes, they could, did cost money, but to get something like that, that we have, it right. cost thousands yes, of that's, dollars. Right. That's you what know, I was, if you bought it yeah. outside mm -hmm. of the 4% group. And let me tell you, I didn't pay near a thousand dollars and you know of by the time you get this up and running you're going to know every yeah aspect yeah. of it you know if you got a problem you want to change this or that you just right. do it yourself right so it won't be a complete mystery right to me right so. okay. okay so let's get to our jokes folks you've waited you're long enough waiting for the jokes uh, and we have a joke that was posted uh, and we yes. don't know the answer to yet and that joke was i'm not going to tell you the answer yet but something about a dog being lost yeah or... i'll remind you of what the joke is what did Dorothy do when her dog got stuck? What? Find out in a couple minutes here. Because we're going to start at the top of the list of jokes here. Oh, I thought that was the answer. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. All right. All right. So I need to right. hold, hold on a second. This might be better. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four, five jokes for you today. Okay, I and we see will come to that culminating joke about Dorothy and the dog. All right, here we go. Wait, what wait. is Homer Simpson's favorite ice cream? What? Chocolate chip cookie dough. I get it, though. <laughs> okay, what's green and sings? What? Elvis Parsley. <laughs> How do you know Dorothy was a good actress? How? She brought the house down. <laughs> <laughs> good. All right. I thought well, you were going to say something about her drinking and drug abuse. Uh, never mind. That was never. <laughs> that, was, that was stage left. <laughs> yes. All right. Why couldn't the Tin Man join in the card game? Why? They were playing hearts. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. not bad. Okay. Not bad. Drum okay. roll, please, for the final joke. Okay. What did Dorothy do when her dog got stuck? What? She called a Toto truck. <laughs> Whoa, that was good. You've been sitting on the edge of your seats for the last three days. We need to get one of those wah, wah, wah sounds. I know. Our, yeah, I know. I'm gonna, put you on, I'm gonna put you on that. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna start on that. Okay. <laughs> Maybe by next year we'll, we'll have it. All right. So, Jokopedia Jokes folks, so funny. don't blame any of us or either of us <clears throat> Blame Jokopedia. And Uncle Brad. Thank you, Uncle yeah. Brad, once again for the jokes. All right. So where is that bring All us righty. to, folks? All right. So Up that brings the, uh, us to our Veterans Day facts. So um, Veterans I, Day is tomorrow. Uh, and it is yes. being observed on Monday because yep. there's never a legal holiday on Sunday. So they're pushing it to... to uh, yeah. And I, and I will say this. I think Veterans Day is important enough for it to be a, a true national holiday. I think so, too. Because right now it is not a true national holiday like Memorial Day. Okay. In, in my opinion. Yeah. You know, I think it should be a day I, that... I think so, too. You know, um, we, we just take a little bit more, I don't want to say seriously, but just... 
think about yeah. you know what the uh, 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 sacrifices that these people have done exactly. so we can have a stupid show or we can exactly. watch the internet or we can go out and get a cup of coffee without yep uh, bother and that, yeah. that is pretty big I think yeah. it is pretty so big, I, so I don't know I don't know where to start with that but that's how I feel about Veterans Day um, so okay let's go on to our Veterans Day facts okay and um, I think we have a little bit of music hopefully oh, nice. that'll come up when we start on this so I just did a little bit of research um, and again you can do all this too about the history of Veterans Day and a couple other interesting thing interesting things about Veterans Day okay so do we have music yet? <laughs> testing, testing. Testing. Wait, let, let me make sure we have Veterans Day. That's yeah, a really nice music a minute ago. Yeah. Um, okay. We don't have darn music. All right. We have, we yeah, have to go on. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go on. Uh, okay. Sorry about that, folks. Um, okay, so it's probably another little glitch. That was something we talk about next week. Veterans Day. Oh. There we, there we go. All right, Veterans Day is always observed on November 11th with speeches and parades across the United States. When the fir holiday first began, it had a different name, which which was Armistice Day. Okay. Yes. Here's how the progress started over time. It was first celebrated on November 11th, 1919, which was the first anniversary at the end of World War I. Okay. 1926, Congress passed a resolution for an annual observance. 1938, November 11th became a national holiday. In 1954, Eisenhower signed the legislation changing the name to Veterans Day in order to honor veterans of all American wars. The day is to honor uh, those who have died fighting as well as those who survived. In 68, the Uniform Holidays Bill uh, was passed by Congress, which moved Veterans Day to the fourth Monday in October. That law went into effect in 71, but reverted back to November 11, 1975, by President Ford because of the important historical significance of the date held. That I did not know. Hmm. Huh. Okay. 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 So a couple stats here. Veterans by the numbers. 19.3 military veterans in the U.S. in 2014. Of those, 1.6 million were female. Yeah. 11.4 were African American. Okay. 78.9 were non-Hispanic white. 6 per 6.1 uh, Hispanic. Uh, 9.4 million were 65 and older. Wow. 1.7 million were younger than 35. That's a staggering number no. right there. Mm, um, say, you know? yeah. Veterans by war. 35% of all living veterans served during the Vietnam War. In 2009, there were 7 million veteran, Vietnam era veterans, 5.5 million Gulf War veterans, 1.1 uh, World War II veterans. Two million veterans of the Korean War, minus one. Right. Yes. Yep, yep. 62,544 living veterans who served during the Vietnam War and both periods of the Gulf War. Okay, that is pretty wow. phenomenal. Yeah. 4.4 who served in peacetime only. Okay. 7.4 million veterans were in the civilian labor force in 2014, and 7 million of them were employed. Women veterans earn... Uh, 31,000 in 2014, more than 21,000 earned by female civilians. That's a pretty yeah. staggering number there. Yeah. Okay, let's do one more here. Male veterans earned 37,000 in 2014, more than 32,000 earned by male veterans with no military service. So the military service is really... Does help? Does, yeah. does oh, help no kidding. Yeah. there. Um, okay, and then it goes into... Um, they're more likely to vote. They have typically have a little bit more education and uh, just a couple things, how to say thank you or what to say. Thank you for your service. Thank mm -hmm. you for stepping up uh, to look after others, uh, get our back, um, and just a simple thank you mm -hmm. uh, for service. The, the one other thing I wanted to point out here is uh, this here. Despite only accounting for 7% of the general population, veterans make up roughly 11% of the adult homeless population. Mm, goodness. The National Coalition for Homeless Veterans reports there are more than 40,000 veterans living without homes on any given night in the U.S. Compared with the total veteran population, younger veterans are disproportionately likely to be homeless. Though there were people who have served in range of wars, including World War II, Korean War, Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, living on the streets. Mm -hmm. right? So no, uh, again, and then the uh, the mental health mm -hmm. um, is always an issue, um, as you can imagine. Um, all right. Yes. So. Um, yeah. So 
something it's something else we got to do about our yeah not just thinking about our veterans we got to figure out a way to support our veterans yeah the entire their entire lives when right. they come back thank and, thank the veterans by supporting mm -hmm. the veterans yes, i guess is yes. probably mm -hmm. something that we we need to think a little bit more about but i can imagine that um as far as mental health uh you know especially the ones who were in combat being in those yeah i can't imagine i yeah can't I imagine mean, just i mean there are there are things in my daily life from day to day that throw me off mm -hmm. um and like yesterday Nothing uh, compared uh, to you know a little issue yesterday with uh you know kind of email back and forth with you know a parent um and it 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 brought me down Shook like the it. entire day yeah you know i did the mistake of reading my school email before going to bed the night before uh. which i it was a mistake it was open when i opened the computer i thought let me check and then i read this email i was like Ugh. so hard time sleeping that and, you know it took me a little while to fall asleep because i was worked up right um but that is so small yes compared you know yeah. so small compared to what uh the veterans go through mm -hmm. uh, yes. so anyway yes. I'm sorry to get off my little thing here my hat is uncannily crooked is it yeah well, all right so <clears> we're, since we're talking about hats oh mine was all right <laughs> you know you move it and then it's you got to do it backwards because it's not a mirror. Yeah, no, people watching, they're like, uh, "What are these idiots yeah, doing?" Yeah, yeah. Like, man, get your get your um, <laughs> hat Brad straight. On, uh, Richard's right, on. Yeah, Hello, we got Richard. here today. Hey, Richard, thanks for tuning in. Uh, morning, Brad. Hey, Karen's Barbara. on. Good morning, Karen. Karen. Yeah, we haven't yeah, looked at any of our uh, friends. Barbara's on. Yeah. yeah. Who else we got? Good to here? See everybody today. Uh, Joel. Yeah, very good to see everybody stop by and watch our little silly show here. So, uh, okay, that's the end of the uh, Veterans Facts. Yeah. I guess it's time for our ever-popular... Let's do the birthday, birthday minute so we can minute. get out of here. Yes, all right. Okay. All right, here we go, folks. Birthday minute. Let me find it here. Birthday minute, and off we go. We'll have to make up for it here. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> that made up for something. All right, ah. folks. Those who are having birthdays today and this week, we apologize for the technical difficulties. Sometimes the computer in this program we use to broadcast just does not pick up uh, the, the the music. It, there's glitchiness. And they interfere or something like that. Yeah, but so. I got to tell you, it reminds me of Wayne's World. Okay. <laughs> Where uh, Garth and Wayne were going through a drive through and you know, every once in a while you go through a drive through and the communication's off a little bit. Yeah. So uh, Wayne was trying to mess up the person taking the order. So he said, I, 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 I. <laughs> and then the guy reads it back with, you know, the entire thing perfectly as what he ordered. And, and whenever I hear that, I think of Wayne's World. So right. uh, uh, only Keith will remember Re Wayne's yes, World. Yes, yeah. Right? And yeah. I'm the only one over uh, the age of 28 that remember. Well, <laughs> Maybe not, because Wayne's World's older than 28. But yeah, anyway, yeah. anyway. So All right. Birthday minute. Let, uh, All right, who we got oh, over oh, there for birthday minute? We got a couple of uh, celebrities you, you get here. Down, I'll get set yeah. up over here. Miranda Lambert. Uh, very, very nice, pretty young lady from uh, country music uh, fame. She used to be married to uh, Blake, something or other. Okay. That didn't work out. So anyway, she, <laughs> yeah, born this day, 1983. Tracy Morgan, he's from Saturday Night Live, and he was on uh, he's a couple of TV shows. Really funny dude. Uh, born this day in 1968. Greg Lake from Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. I don't believe he's with us anymore, but uh, very influential uh, progressive rock band from the early 70s. Okay. Born this day in 1947. Uh, Roy Sh Scheider. Roy Scheider? I always want to say Roy Schreider. Scheider. Born this day in 1932. Uh, he was most uh, well known for his uh, in Jaws. Remember that okay. he was yeah. the I don't know what he, he wasn't the boat captain, but he was in anyway. Richard Burton, Richard Burton, uh, married to uh, I can't remember her name. I can picture uh, born this day in 1925. A uh, very famous uh, English actor, maybe even be Welsh. I'm not sure. Barbara will know. Uh, and Martin Luther, not Martin Luther wow. King, but the original Martin, Martin Luther. Luther. Born this day in 1483. 1483, 1483. man. 1483. Wow.
You know, That's he's been watching ago. the show for quite a while. For so quite hats, some time. Yeah, hats yeah. off to uh, Martin Luther. Martin there. Luther knew about this show long before yeah. he did. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah. Even, uh, <laughs> right, he Okay, so let's rebel. get so on what, to... what uh, else going close yeah. to home? Let's get on to our friends' birthdays. You yes, got a little yes. drum going oh, on yes. over there? Hold okay, on, so stick. starting today, Saturday, November the 10th, we have Elizabeth, Nick, Tracy. Happy birthday, guys. And Cousin Janet. Hey, hey. happy birthday, Janet. Happy birthday, everybody else on yeah. this Saturday. All right, and tomorrow on the 11th, happy birthday to Alan, Alice, Amanda, and Robert. Yay, happy birthday, happy birthday guys. guys. It's on the 11th. Okay, Monday the 12th, the uh, the day we uh, officially observe Veterans Day, right. we have Frank, Jess, Samantha, and Robin. Yay, Ooh. happy birthday, guys, on Monday. On Tuesday, we have Beth and Donna. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys, on Tuesday. Uh, on and you got to say, uh, Friday the 13th this month falls on a Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Can't get away a month without it. <laughs> All right. Wednesday, November 14th, we have Barry, Catherine, Cindy, and Kevin. Yay. Happy Ooh, birthday, guys. Happy, happy birthday, birthday everybody. Yeah. On Thursday the 15th, we have Beth, Bunny, and Nicole. Nicole, Yay. happy birthday, guys. Happy birthday, guys. All right, on Friday the 16th, we have Brian. Uh, let's do this. Brian C. And then Brian, Brian e, e. And Heather. Heather and Julian. Julian. Yeah. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, guys. On Friday wow, the 16th. Nines, huh? Yeah. And the 17th, next Saturday, we have Kara, Janet, Lynn, oh, I'm sorry, Michael, and Robert. Robert. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. Happy birthday, guys. <laughs> Happy yeah. birthday! Yeah, Happy we, birthday! We always everybody. attempt not to not to say the last names of everybody. Right. Just well, that was the middle name. So. That, that's right. Yeah. That was the yeah. middle name. No, so. we, yeah. Just just keeping everybody kind of anonymous here. That's so. right. That's right. Hey, Myron's watching. Good morning, Myron. How's the coffee this morning? Hey, all right. We got a good. pretty good crew watching here yeah, this morning. No okay, and, uh, so we're gonna get out of the birthday, birthday minute. minute now. Hopefully, folks, we got a little music to for the you outro might, here. I, 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 uh, 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 here we go. <laughs> you know what, Keith? We're gonna have to start learning all these yeah, instruments. I think, so yeah, we're gonna just have to play rely. it live. Yes. And talk about technology, man. Sometimes technology just stinks, right? We yes. Gotta do it the old-fashioned way. Yes. Yeah. I mean, how often does the guitar stop playing in the middle? Yeah. <laughs> We gotta get our little yeah. band in here or something like that. Uh, the girls are both playing guitar now, right? They are. Yeah. There we go. We got our we band. Got the whole okay. thing going on there. So. All right. So, yeah. well, thanks for stopping by today, guys. Uh, looks like we're about done, right? Yeah. I think we can wrap it up. Uh, are we gonna be back next week? Uh, our plan is to yes, be back next okay. week. Okay. Um, but I'll let everybody know if we're not gonna do that. Okay, I'm always up for it, but okay. you're a little bit busier than I am on Saturday mornings. So, uh, if, as long as I can wake up and get you know dressed and all that kind of stuff. I will be here. And you so. are able to go ahead and get the coffee. And yes, yes, that's, I, yes, I, I get this coffee and uh, all that. So once again, thank you very much for stopping by, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is that about it? That is or, it, or yeah. We, <laughs> I have I have the music on. Oh, and, or, okay. And again, it's not really kicking in for yeah. us. So. Anyway, well, that's your apologies. Uh, thank you once again. Uh, once again, remember your vets. You know, you know any vets, buy them a drink, say hello, make a phone call. I know my friend uh, Larry goes down and Tough sees the uh, American Legions. He did that last night. He's very uh, heavily involved in that, and we need more people like Larry. So uh, anyway, happy Veterans Day. Uh, see you next time. And remember, you deserve a thought of your own, so be in touch. All right. See you next week. See you guys. Thanks for joining us.